Howdy guys, so we're going to be installing this PPE uh, fuel rail plug. Um, if you've had low fuel rail pressure codes or whatever, this can help that. Um, there's also a debate going on about, you know, if you are stomping on the gas and then let off and then step on the gas real hard again, it has the potential to create, you know, a fuel pressure spike, which with this would not be very good on your injectors. but it's only if you have like pretty poor driving habits and stuff like that. All you'll really need is like an 18 millimeter wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, and maybe an extension, and then a 10 millimeter wrench as well. So you'll also need a 12 millimeter. By removing this guy here, you can just squeeze on this ridge part, kind of like a thing of mouthwash, and then it'll release it. And then the rest of these, 10 millimeter right here. You need to get that guy loose. I've already got him loose. And then there's one over here, which is what you'll need to uh, wrench for. He's kind of back there. So you can see you can get this guy on there and pop it loose. Got him loose. And then the same thing with right here. You can get this guy loose because this bracket connects to this all the way down. Once you get those three out, then you can kind of pull this guy over to the side. Some more to pull this bracket off the rest of the way. These four bolts are 12 millimeter. You can just back those out. Once you get those four bolts loose, then this guy will come out of here like so. And it'll give you access to what you're actually trying to get at here. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but he's basically right here. It's an 18 millimeter. And uh, some guys get the wrench on there and then get a ratchet strap going like to this guy right here and just kind of ratchet it over because it can be on there pretty good. But hey, again, so I don't know if you can actually see here, but Obviously, I've got mine loose. It wasn't so bad that I needed ratchet straps or anything like that, but then again, I'm not your average person. When I did the six inch lift on this truck, uh, kind of just manhandled the transfer case down myself, even though I haven't worked out in like the last year plus. The rest of the job is basically just reverse. Uh, this, once you get your plug out, you're gonna lose a little bit of fuel, don't freak out. Um, lubricate the little ring on your new one reinstall it to the torque spec and then you just reinstall that plate as well as your glow plug module plug everything back in and so just a comparison for you obviously the stock one has this little hole that allows fuel to escape when it reaches a spike um if this spring in here goes bad then when you're trying to like accelerate like and you have a load or something like that, you can get codes and it'll just go into limp mode basically. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're doing this. As you can see, we got everything back together and everything. Um, if you have the stock fuel filter housing, you might wanna just go ahead and prime the system by hand, unless you have a lift pump, you can let that do all the work for you. But.